2080 nuclear explosions, the chilling truth they never told you. Imagine seeing a flash brighter than the sun. A second later, a shockwave obliterates everything in its path. This is not fiction. This is a nuclear explosion. And in human history, there haven't been just two. Not ten. Not a hundred. But over two thousand. In this video, we'll reveal the real number of nuclear detonations, who caused them, what they were trying to prove, and why you may have never even heard about most of them. The first explosion. It all started on July 16, 1945, in the New Mexico desert. The test was codenamed Trinity. This was the first man-made nuclear explosion. Just three weeks later, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That moment officially launched the world into the nuclear age. The bomb not only ended a world war, it opened a darker chapter in human history. A chapter of testing, escalation, secrecy and thousands of explosions to come. A race to annihilation. After World War II, the planet divided into two competing forces. And both of them wanted one thing, nuclear superiority. The United States conducted over 1,032 nuclear tests, the most of any nation. The Soviet Union? 715, many of them monstrous in scale. In 1961, the USSR detonated the most powerful nuclear weapon in history, the Tsar Bomba, a 50-megaton monster, over 3,000 times more powerful than Hiroshima. The fireball alone stretched 8 kilometers wide. The shockwave circled the globe twice. And they weren't alone. France, the UK, China all joined the nuclear race. By the early 1980s, nuclear bombs were exploding almost every week. In 1962 alone, there were 96 nuclear detonations. That's nearly two per week. Testing became routine. The Earth itself became a testing ground. Where did they explode these bombs? You might think these were done in isolated wastelands. But many were dangerously close to people. The US tested in Nevada and the Pacific. The USSR used Semipalatinsk in Kazakhstan and Novaya Zemlya in the Arctic. The UK tested in Australia, France in Algeria and Polynesia, China in Xinjiang. Many people lived nearby unaware that their water, their food, their air were being contaminated. Cancer rates soared. Birth defects increased. Generations are still affected. The legacy of these explosions didn't vanish with the mushroom cloud. The Era of Treaties In 1963, the Partial Test Ban Treaty banned nuclear testing in the air, underwater, and in space. Only underground testing remained. Then in 1996, the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty CTBT, was proposed. It aimed to ban all nuclear explosions. But, it still hasn't come into force. Major nuclear powers, including the US and China, have not ratified it. The arms race may have slowed, but it never truly ended. North Korea, a lone player with the bomb. In 2006, a new country joined the list. One of the world's most isolated regimes, North Korea. Since then, it has conducted six nuclear tests, each one more powerful than the last. The final one came on September 3, 2017. North Korea claimed it was a hydrogen bomb, a thermonuclear weapon. Estimated yield? 
between 100 and 250 kilotons. That's 20 times more powerful than Hiroshima. The world reacted with shock. Sanctions increased. Tensions escalated. But North Korea still develops missiles and possibly more bombs. <music> 2080 real nuclear explosions. In total, 2080 nuclear explosions have occurred on this planet. That's not science fiction. That's not conspiracy. Those are official numbers. Some tests were just kilometers from cities. Others were underwater. Some under the desert. Some even in outer space. The Earth has been shaken, scorched, poisoned in the name of defense. And the real question is, if all this happened in peacetime, what would a real nuclear war look like? Conclusion and call to action this video isn't about fear. It's about awareness. The nuclear age isn't history, it's now. The bombs are still here. The launch systems are ready. The politics are unstable. Subscribe. Hit like, share this video, and remember, the nuclear question isn't science fiction. It's the world we live in. I have a small request. I've launched a second channel called Tour Encyclopedia, where we explore the most fascinating and beautiful places around the world. If you're interested in travel, make sure to check it out and subscribe. The link is in the description below this video.